All of us, all of us, all of us. We're gonna apply some logic here. Dane County is one of the, it's the fourth safest place in the country to live, number one. You're not justified having no EROs in those schools, number one. There's no statistics, there's no proof, there's no science that says that that works. As a matter of fact, it's quite to the contrary. Number two, the fact of the matter is, is that 70% of the teachers are European. 70% of the teachers are European. The school counselors, the board, we're looking at the board right now, we're looking at the racial demographics of the board right now. You do not represent the needs of the people, nor the demographics, nor can you say that you understand because you'll be stepping way outside of your place. I don't care if you got one so-called black man on the board, that don't make you diverse. Let's be clear about that. Number two, number three, number three, check this out. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 91% violent crime rate. Dane County, 34.7%. We ain't got police in our school up there. Listen, I grew up in every kind of which worst circumstance you can possibly think of. I grew up in Chicago, in Teartown. I grew up in Milwaukee, in the zoo. I grew up here, in Madison. Let me explain something to you. When I was 12 years old, I was chased down, beaten, and drugged by a cop. When my people wake up in the morning, they see this stuff all on the news. They see babies being shot down in the streets with no guns, no weapons, no nothing, defenseless. And you mean to tell me that you're going to put an occupying force that represents military and war in the school and expect our children to not be disengaged? How dare you? <laughs> the school to prison pipeline. Mass incarceration. You're fueling the beast system that perpetuates modern day slavery. And you mean to tell me and you mean to tell me that you care? I don't care how many times you convene. I don't care how many so-called culturally competent programs you implement in a school. It's not, the, it's not the experience. Understand that. The experience is outdated when it comes to you trying to say that science can tell you what we need. No, sit down, take a drawing. You saw these people stand up. These people telling you what they need and you're telling them what they don't need. You understand that? That don't make sense. It don't equate to change. It don't equate to power because the power is in the people. That's what, you're gonna, that's what you got to get understood. The power is in the people. Stop trying to play God, you're not God. Understand, trauma is real. Children need resources, resources that look like them, resources that feel that there is empathy involved and not sympathy. I don't need your, I don't need your support from a distance. I need you to sit down in the pits, understand where I come from, understand the gutter, understand the pain, understand the suffering of being impoverished all your life because of the way you were born. Don't be judging us. Okay.